Welcome to today's webinar, everyone, uh, with Air Transat and Agencia Global. This webinar is brought to you by Baxter Media. I'm your host, Stephen McMillan, Virtual Events Coordinator at Baxter Media, and today is Tuesday, July 25th. Our presenters today are Benoit from Air Transat. Welcome, Hello. Benoit. Hello. Thanks. Thanks so much for being here, Benoit. We're happy you're here and uh, we're excited for this presentation. We also have Jimmy from Agencia Global and uh, Jimmy's been partnering with us for a while for a number of webinars and we're glad that he's here as well. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Zephan, and good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to be with us. Great. So Benoit will bring some updates from Air Transat and then Jimmy will get into a walkthrough of making a booking on Agencia Global. Benoit and Jimmy will be answering your questions live at the end of the webinar. So feel free to type any questions you have into the Q&A section of the public chat box. You should see chat and then Q&A right beside it there. If you go into that Q&A tab, you'll see a, a chat box there and you can submit your questions at any point during the presentation or just at the end of the presentation. And we will address your questions again live at the end of the presentation. And please remember this is a live webinar, so your patience is appreciated during any technical difficulties that may arise. The webinar is being recorded and a link to the recording will be sent to all registrants within about 24 hours once it has been processed. And uh, those who attend for the full duration of the webinar, the full thing uh, will be entered into a random draw to win a $250 Amazon gift card from Air Transat. So we're, we're really excited about that folks. So stay with us to the end and we'll announce the winner after the presentations and the Q&A. And with that, I am gonna hand things right over to Benoit for his portion of the presentation. And then uh, Jimmy will step up to the plate after that. So again, thanks everyone for being here. Feel free to ask your questions in the Q&A section and we'll address them at the end. Thanks again. Go ahead, Benoit. So thank you very much, uh, Zephan. Um, hello everyone, my name is uh, Benoit. I'm, uh, the account ma I'm an account manager at the Air Transat sales team. I'm based in uh, Montreal. Uh, I just saw that you're coming from all over Canada, so welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, very nice to meet uh, you today and to present Air Transat. So yeah, I will present your Air Transat today. I will uh, first um, present general information about Air Transat and Transat Group. Then we will go through our products and services, uh, our connectivity and alliance program. And finally, we will go through useful information for you uh, as uh, travel agents. So you may know Air Transat is part of the Transat Group. It's been funded 35 years ago here in Quebec. We know our group leading uh, in uh, leisure travel throughout Canada. We've been awarded last June as the world's best leisure airline for the fifth time. Uh, so we are very proud of that. Uh, we are constantly renewing our fleet with the most energy efficient aircraft in their category with the, uh, the Airbus 321 Neo LR. We will talk about it later. So we are committed into a healthier environment uh, because this is essential for our operation and the destination we are flying to. As I said, Air Transat is the Canada's number one leisure airline. We've been awarded recently and we fly to uh, Europe, uh, the US and uh, south to the Caribbean. We carry about 5 million passengers a year and we have Transat AT, so the tour operator. We are an integrated uh, international tourism company. Uh, and since uh, 2018, we are certified with Travel Life uh, as a responsible uh, company acting in tourism. So basically, uh, our network covers uh, the US. So we are flying to uh, California, uh, San Francisco and LA during summer from May to October. And we're flying to uh, Florida all year long. Uh, we fly to Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, uh, mainly from Eastern uh, airports in Canada. We are flying, of course, to the south. Air Transat was well known for uh, the south uh, services. 
So basically all year long, we are flying to Mexico and uh, Dominican Republic. And during winter, we're flying to some of our countries like uh, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Salvador, and uh, many islands in the Caribbean, including Cuba, uh, San Martin, Guadeloupe, Martinique, uh, Jamaica, uh, for instance. And we have opened a new destination. We've just announced it last, last week, actually. It's uh, Cozumel. Uh, so close to Cancun, it's another destination in the, in Yucatan. We are flying to Europe as well. We are well known for our transat transatlantic flights, uh, especially Western countries in Europe. So basically, uh, uh, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Croatia, uh, uh, Greece. Uh, the UK, Ireland, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France, of course. So we're flying all year long uh, to uh, some of these destinations. And um, we have, um, uh, I mean, one of our latest updates is the annualization of a few destinations in France, including Marseille, uh, Lyon, and uh, Nantes, which, which is another city where we're flying to uh, February. Uh, Marseille and Lyon are fully operated all year long. Uh, so this is it for our network. Our fleet, uh, it's made of 36 uh, aircraft. Uh, we are flying with Airbus 330, which is the wide body long range uh, aircraft um, where we can put uh, up to 375 uh, seats. And we are flying another type of aircraft, which is the Airbus 321. Uh, we have two different types of Airbus 321. The regular one that is uh, flying mostly to the US and, uh, and South. And the 321 Neo LR, uh, which is a narrow body, so one ale, uh, but with a long range. So we can operate this aircraft for transatlantic flights. Uh, and it's... Um, a very flexible fleet um, and it's uh, all Airbus so it's um, very convenient for uh, very convenient for maintenance uh, purposes. So on board our aircraft uh, we have two uh, different cabins. The one on the rear let's say is the economy class so it's uh, it's a class with comfortable lever seats, adjustable headrest, um, most, I mean, all our 330 aircraft and all our 321 Neo LR aircraft have individual touchscreens uh, with um, USB port and power outlets. And for the other aircraft, like the regular uh, Airbus uh, 321, uh, we offer the passengers to connect for their own device, could be a laptop, um, phone, or uh, any other device and the access to um, our entertaining program. Uh, the meals, they are complementary for uh, transat transatlantic flights and um, it's buy on board for South and uh, US services. We also offer the possibility to pre-order meals for South and, uh, and US flights. We also offer duty-free service for all the the foreign uh, uh, flights. In economy, we have three different uh, fare types. Uh, eco budget. So eco budget uh, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't allow no modification nor cancellation. Uh, eco standard. So you can change as much as you want your ticket. Uh, sometimes you have to pay the difference if it applies, and the cancellation is. Uh, for a fee of $200. And uh, finally, the EcoFlex, which is, as it's saying, the most flexible fare, uh, where you can change your tickets and get refunded. And standard and flex include one piece of bag and uh, a seat selection, standard seat for Eco Standard, and uh, any seat in the economy cabin for EcoFlex. EcoFlex also provides you with uh, uh, priority services. Um, at the front of the cabin, we have 12 seats for the club class. It's a very intimate and exclusive cabin with uh, spacious and wider reclining seats. 
Um, for all the club class passengers, uh, we offer two pieces of uh, check bags. Of course, we offer priority services uh, on the ground as well as uh, the priority counter for um, uh, check-in, uh, priority security, uh, pri priority uh, for the security uh, checkpoints as well, uh, priority uh, baggage delivery. And uh, of course, we treat uh, our club class passengers um, with, um, uh, I mean, we treat, we treat them very well. We have a choice of two gourmet meals and, uh, and wine, and they also can uh, pre-order a different meal up to 72 hours prior to, uh, to, uh, to the flight. In club class, we have two different uh, fare types, club standard and club flex. Uh, they both include uh, the modification, the change uh, for no fee. Uh, the cancellation is at uh, $200 for Club Standard and it's free for Club Flex uh, passengers. As I said, we offer two pieces of bags for Club Class passengers uh, and uh, priority services, the gourmet meal, and of course they can choose the seat uh, they prefer in the Club Class cabin. Uh, so this is a, a summary of uh, the, um, the baggage uh, policy, but we've seen that uh, with a cup budget, bag is not included. It starts to be included with Echo Standard, Echo Flex, and of course, for our club class. We allow our passengers to be at autonomous with a few um, pre-boarding actions, including the online check-in, which is possible uh, on uh, a desktop, but also uh, with the, the brand new Air Transat application. Uh, the packs can also make its own seat selection. Sometimes it's uh, with a charge and uh, the passenger can also get, of course, his boarding pass and, uh, and receive his electronic documents through uh, his uh, application or on the Manage My Booking section on the Air Transat uh, website. For economy passengers, we offer the option plus. So it provides some perks uh, for passengers on the ground and in, I mean, on board, uh, including a complimentary standard seat selection up to 24 hours prior to departure. One piece of bag, so we, one piece of check bag, which is uh, interesting for, uh, for instance, a passenger who was booking a budget, and budget bags is not included. So if he books the option plus in addition to this fare, it will get at least one piece of bag and it could be two pieces of bags if uh, the packs uh, choose uh, an over flexible or stone up fare, for instance, that already includes one bag. There is a dedicated uh, counter at the airport for option plus passengers. They have the priority line. I mean, they have a priority line at uh, the security uh, in, in a selection of airports in Canada, uh, as well as priority baggage handling, a comfort kit on board, including like a, uh, a neck uh, pillow uh, uh, and, um, and a few other perks. Uh, and they also get um, uh, some treats from the Bristol menu, like a selection of drinks and, uh, and snacks from the, the Bristol menu, in addition to the regular service. The cost of Option Plus goes from $64 for US and South flights up to $179, depending uh, the, the destination and the kind of uh, seat uh, booked by the passenger. At the very front of the cabin, just uh, before the club class, we have seats with more legroom, and here it costs a little more. And uh, of course, all our passengers, uh, whatever the, the, the class, the cabin they're flying in, uh, they, they will enjoy our entertaining program. So including uh, movies, classic and recent movies, uh, TV series, cartoons, games, travel guides, uh, and as I said, even in, in the aircraft that are not, pro that are not, um, uh, I mean, that don't have any 
uh, touch screen included in the seat. Uh, there's still the possibility to uh, uh, have all the content in your own device, uh, phone, laptop, or tablet. Um, as I said, um, we offer the meals on all the transatlantic flights. Uh, and it's a uh, buy on board for South and transborder meals. And as I said also earlier, for our South and transborder, uh, we offer the possibility to pre order a different choice of meals up to 72 hours prior to, to departure. Uh, animals are our friends, uh, especially dogs and cats. Um, they can fly in cabin for a maximum weight of 10 kilos. And uh, we really advise you, I mean, to, to tell your, your clients to, to, to book uh, the cabin animals in advance so they will save money. Uh, so it goes from $50 for domestic US flights to $100 for Europe and South flights if it's booked 72 hours prior to departure. Otherwise, there's still the possibility to uh, make uh, the check-in at the airport, but uh, it would be a, a little more expensive. Uh, Air Transat is uh, well known as well for um, our family uh, privilege, uh, perks and cares. We offer a dedicated counter uh, from our Canadian uh, airports. Uh, there is a pre-boarding also for families uh, if they travel with young children, of course, uh, and a standard seat assignment and grouping for children between 2 and 13 years old and their parents or, or guardian. So our family privilege is a little different from our kids club. Kids club offers the possibility for uh, children to from 2 to 11 to get some perks on board. Uh, basically, they will get a, a little fun travel kit with pencils, drawings, and a few other uh, things like uh, uh, a night mask, for instance. They will also have a, a free standard seat preselection. Um, they will have a compl complimentary bistro, uh, bistro menu snack uh, and a priority service at the, at the airport as well. So don't forget for your uh, uh, passengers, if they are kids, to make the reservation of the kids club. And it's free. There's no charge for that. But they just have to, to register online uh, prior to the flight. Or, or you, you can call uh, our uh, customer service uh, to uh, register as well, uh, to register your kid or your passenger's kid. And they will, get, um, it will be a member of the kids club and will uh, receive all the amenities once at the airport and on board. For UM, we also uh, ensure a service for them. It's basically $100 per direction. It's valid only for air transat flights uh, with no connection, uh, direct flights for kids between eight to 11. Uh, they will be escorted at the airport. They will get a standard seat assignment as well as a priority boarding, priority baggage handling, and uh, a free snack from the, the bistro menu uh, as well. Um, since, so that's it for our product and services. Um, so now we will uh, uh, go through our alliances and connectivity, knowing that since last year we have uh, developed a uh, a few new um, co-chairs, especially. Um, the first one started with um, WestJet. So WestJet uh, opened a few destination that we can, uh, I mean, they open a few destination to our network, basically. So they operate a few of their destinations with a TS um, flight number. But the biggest co-chair that we have now is the one with uh, Porter. Uh, perhaps you, you've seen on the news recently that Porter is uh, expanding its network and he, uh, it, um, it just gets some new aircraft like the new Embraer 195, which is a very nice aircraft for domestic 
uh, flights. And actually, uh, Porter is becoming our main uh, domestic feeder. Uh, they open all their network to uh, our flights. So any, any Porter passenger can get connected with a Transat flight in Toronto Pearson or uh, Montreal Trudeau Airport. And of course, um, the, the big advantage for the passenger is to be protected in case of flight uh, delay or cancellation. And uh, within one reservation, you will get the Porter portion or the WestJet portion and the Transat portion. So this is a, this is a very convenient and great, and it, it allows us to, um, to, um, to pick up passengers from Western Canada, for instance, because we're, we are reducing our domestic flights uh, inside Canada, uh, thanks to the new uh, partnerships we have with uh, Porter, especially. We have another type of connectivity, which is uh, Connect Air. It's a virtual interline uh, service. So it's um, it exists for a, a longer time than, than the code share that we have with the, the two other carriers. Uh, but it's a different type of connectivity uh, because the, the, the passenger basically has to uh, check in for each flight separately. But in any case, uh, is protected as well in case of uh, flight delay or, or cancellation. And we have recently added some new uh, carriers in, in Europe, especially. So we cover about 200 destinations uh, now including uh, Avianca, EasyJet, Pascan, um, Norwegian Airlines, uh, Vueling, and a few other uh, important uh, carriers. In France, we have a strong partnership with SNCF, which is the railway company. So basically, uh, it's a co chair. Uh, so the passenger, when he lands uh, in uh, France, for instance, he can get connected to any train uh, if he wants to reach out one of the 18 cities uh, accessible for this uh, co-chair. There is again one reservation, one fare, and the passenger is protected in case of uh, train or flight delay. Um, anyway, he is, um, he is protected and it works also for trains going to Brussels in Belgium. And all of this, I mean, all this uh, code share is uh, available for, for GDS uh, reservations. So this is it for our connectivity and uh, alliance uh, uh, program. Now we're gonna go through some information for, for US travel agents. Um, not sure if you are familiar with our group procedures, but we have two ways to book uh, groups with Transat could be made directly with our uh, system. So CRF TTS, which is our, uh, let's say, homemade uh, system. Um, you first need to register uh, to uh, get the access to the code uh, request tool. Um, and then it goes uh, very fastly with our group, uh, with our group team. Um, and we open the, the group confirmation uh, up to three, uh, 350 days before, uh, I mean, in advance, 350 day, 50 days in advance, so almost one year in advance for, for the group uh, confirmation. It's also possible to book groups in GDS, of course. Um, so basically, you have to uh, open a specific Yata inventory uh, in the GDS then um, you will be in contact with the group team. You will confirm um, your, your group and the waiting list. And, um, and you, you will uh, be able to, to follow the procedure, which is very uh, easy. Just keep in mind that the, the fares are specific to groups. Um, there's no connection with any other fare. Groups are specific in terms of, of, uh, of fares. And the agents have to issue the, the tickets uh, manual. Uh, for the baggages, I mean, for the bags, 
um, we give the opportunity for agents to book bags through GDS just by issuing an EMD. It's very basic. Um, you can recognize the, the type of bag, depending if it's the first bag or the second bag with the codes A bag or B bag. This is very basic. Uh, keep in mind that uh, bags are non-refundable, uh, but you can exchange them uh, just under certain uh, conditions. In any way, I really encourage you to uh, register to sign in uh, on uh, Transat Agent Direct. So this is our uh, agent uh, portal. Um, you will find out there many, many information like useful links, e-learning videos. You will be able to check your bookings as well. You will have access to, us, to forms for any specific uh, service request and you will have access to the group uh, to the group zone as well, the one we've just uh, talked about. On Transat at Direct, you also have access to the SSR inventory uh, tool. So you will have an eye on the inventory for Option Plus, pets in cabin, uh, pets in, uh, in the hold, spot equipment, and don't forget that any of these services have to be booked 72 hours prior to departure, and you have to call the customer care center uh, for, for all of them. Um, if our procedures are not familiar for you, you can get trained online uh, again with, uh, uh, I mean, on uh, Transat Agent Direct. Um, we have our learning center. We have video capsules, which are very educative, very easy to, to learn, basically. And when you sign in uh, on uh, Transat Touch on Direct, you will also get, you will always also receive um, the mailing list for agents. Uh, you will be part of the mailing list for agents. You will receive uh, information, procedures, uh, promotions, uh, and invitations to, uh, to tours, training, academies, and uh, invitation to webinars like we are doing uh, uh, today. Uh, I think we kept the best for the end. So this is the travel agent discount. So this is for you guys. Uh, you can take advantage of a 20% discount on all the flights operated by Air Transat uh, to the South, Europe, the US and uh, within Canada. Uh, it's very easy. If you want to take advantage of this, just email us at airtransatsales at transat.com. It's an email monitored by our sales team. We will send you uh, like the, the, the form uh, to, to, for, for the discount to be applied to your booking. And then you just have to follow a few steps and, uh, and you will get... Uh, you will, you will take advantage of the of the discount, basically. So I think this is pretty much it for uh, a general overview of Air Transat. Um, keep in mind that we have uh, the GDS support, which is open 24-7 uh, all year long. Uh, so they can reply by phone or you can email them as well. And uh, as... Uh, uh, I mean, the contact for uh, Voyage à la carte, I'll be also your contact for any question. Uh, you can email me at my email written below, benoitmartinblaise.breton at transat.com. And uh, if you have any other question, please feel free to uh, to ask, I mean, to, to ask your question in the Q&A section, and uh, I will be glad to answer each other. So thank you very much for your attention i hope we will see you on board and and see many uh, of your clients on board as well here this is a, a very nice picture of our uh, airbus 321 neo lr we will receive two more uh, of this aircraft uh, during fall and it's a very nice uh, aircraft that uh, i invite you to fly in uh, uh, the sooner with, with us so thank you very much again thank you zephan and uh, Jimmy, and I'm here for your for your questions. Great, thank you so much, Benoit. Well, we are gonna pass things over to Jimmy at this point. So 
Uh, Jimmy, if you want to go ahead and take it away. And uh, I do see uh, some questions coming in here, so that's good to see. Folks, feel free to submit your questions, and uh, we'll answer them after Jimmy's portion of the presentation. Thanks again, Benoit. Thank you. Sounds good. Thanks, Stefan. Um, can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. Excellent. Okay, so hi, everyone. My name is Jimmy, and uh, first and foremost, Benoit, thank you for that uh, very detailed presentation. Um, so for those of you who haven't sat in on one of my webinars before, I'm Jimmy Stavropoulos. I'm the Director of Sales over at Voyage à la Carte Agencia Global. Uh, we're a consolidator headquartered in Montreal, but we do have an office in Atlanta as well. So we offer both point of sale Canada and US content. I'm actually on the road uh, today on a business trip. So apologies for the camera being off. The Wi-Fi is a little choppy and I figured uh, better to save the data if possible, so that you could hear me loud and clear. Uh, silver lining is I'm not as easy on the eyes as Benoit is, so I'm actually doing you a favor by keeping the camera off. Um, that said, uh, Benoit has shown you uh, why you should consider Transat for your next booking, and I'm here to tell you why you should make that booking specifically on Agencia Global. So, um, as I said, I'm from Voyage à la Carte, Agencia Global. So the company is Voyage à la Carte. Agencia Global is our uh, proprietary booking platform. Very easy to use, and uh, we've added a few features to it, uh, thanks to agent feedback on webinars such as this one, um, that could offer you some exclusive ease of mind by using this platform. So I just figured I'll go ahead, I'll make a booking, and uh, if you have any questions on the platform when I'm done, please feel free. So uh, when you log into Agencia, this is your homepage. Uh, you'll get your dashboard, so you could proceed to book a flight or a car rental right away. If you've got any bookings, flight for a schedule change, fraud check, uh, just a quote that's been saved, you'll get your uh, number right here showing up as a hyperlink, so you could click on it and open it right up. Agencia University is only visible in my account right now, but long story short, it's a learning page that we're looking to resuscitate in January of next year, where presentations such as the one Benoit just shared with you would be available for all our agents to access for those who miss our webinar or may have missed an e-blast or something to that effect. So I'll just show you kind of what that looks like quickly. So again, if my computer runs slowly, sorry, I'm in, uh, in a hotel lobby on their Wi-Fi, but see, we did a webinar with Transat a couple of years ago. This goes back to before the pandemic. But let's say you did have any questions about one specific airline partner uh, versus another or so on, the Agencia University page that they provide uh, will include videos uh, or informative PDFs, like here's the presentation from a couple of years ago. Same kind of thing. So we want to keep our agents up to date and educated. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're still in the process of rebuilding our team uh, following the pandemic, so we don't have the resources just yet to get that up and running, which is why I'm saying chances are uh, January uh, 2024. Right below that, you've got your Agencia Global News section, and this is where we're going to highlight uh, any bonus commission programs we have going with an airline partner. Now, for those who have already attended one of my webinars, you know I'm never going to take time out of your day without making it um, interesting for you. So since we're co-branding with Transat, uh, we are offering a bonus commission program with them. So if you click on their banner, that's basically going to follow you on any search uh, on which this bonus commission is applicable. Click on it and you'll see the bonus commission that we're offering right now. So between today and August 20th for flights uh, taking off up to and including October 21st, you'll earn the following bonus commission per destination region as long as your flight originates in Canada. So 25 for Europe, 10 for USA and South, and 5 for domestic Canada. Now let's have a look at how we could earn that bonus commission. So booking on agency is a three-page process. Just click on book flights and you'll be taken to the search page and you'll take note also that the banner is kind of going to follow us to that search page. So Right over here, we just enter our origin and destination. So let's say we're going from Montreal to Florida, to Fort Lauderdale, and you'll see right over here, I actually have two choices, USD and CAD. So this isn't just a currency display selector, it's actually a point of sale selector. So let's say you're based in Vancouver, you wanna make a booking out of Seattle, or you're booked in Windsor, and you make a lot of bookings out of Detroit, then we'd, we would encourage you to click on USD right over here, because then you're gonna access all our point of sale US content, which means you may have commissions or net fares made available to you 
uh, which you wouldn't if you were to be working with an exclusively Canadian consolidator. Um, in this case, since I'm looking at Montreal, obviously I'll click on CAD to access Point of Sale Canada. Now, Agencia is going to allow you to input up to five custom, uh, to, excuse me, nine customers on one PNR. So this is where we just provide the breakdown of adults, children, infants on lap and on seat. You could even isolate a specific, specific, excuse me, cabin class in advance if you'd like. You could focus for non-stop flights, disable multi-tickets. Long story short, Agency always searches for two one-way fares. Um, in the case that there is a drop net program for available that makes it less expensive for you to offer two one-ways so that you could either save your customer money or apply a markup, an incremental markup to what you were already going to mark up by. If you're not interested in that, you just want the two round trip fares, then simply click on disable multi-tickets right over here. And then right underneath, you could select your preferred airline. So you could either put in the airline code or just spell out part of the name. And once you check that off, now the search results will only include um, fares from that airline partner. Now, let's say we are going to Florida from Montreal in October. Let's say it's getting a little nippy, no point going right now. So we'll book, let's say, from the 14th to 21st. So that's pretty much it. Origin, destination, PAX count, um, and preferred carrier. Once you click on search flights, it'll start running through uh, our GDS connections, a couple of direct APIs, some content aggregator uh, sources even for NDC content. Uh, the wait, assuming you're not in the lobby of a hotel, is a little shorter than what you're going to see right now. Uh, but generally takes anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds, call it, depending on the demand for a specific OMD. So obviously, like a Montreal Paris is going to take a lot longer than a Halifax Edinburgh, for example, if that even exists, <laughs> if that's even being offered. So top of the second page, we'll recap the information you selected on the first one. So here's our five passengers on Transat Montreal to Fort Lauderdale on October 14th to 21st, displaying in CAD. Now, at the bottom here is where you could pick your fare type. So as you can see here, we've got net fares available. When we click on view flights, you'll see the flights that apply to that. You've got your outbound on your left, your inbound on your right. And we even give you a flexible day matrix as well. So if you've got a flexible traveler who's looking to save some money, uh, long story short, your flexible day matrix, the gray cell, that 2221 right over here, is the price that corresponds to the date combination that you selected. Anything in white is at the same price or more expensive, which would be that 2221 just directly to the right of it. Anything in green is less expensive, and then anything specifically in dark green is the lowest price of the matrix. Now, all these prices are hyperlinked. I won't do it now to save the time, but you probably notice right over here, my mouse turns into a little finger pointer. All these prices are hyperlinked, so if you click on one of these prices, the search is going to rerun, it's going to preserve your tax count, it's going to preserve your OMD, but it's just going to modify your dates accordingly. Now, from left to right down here, what are we looking at? If you see a little blue line next to the carrier's name, that means that branded fares are available, and I'll show you how those pop up in just a second. You then have your validating carrier, your fare type, RBD, price per packs. When you hover over it, you'll get the breakdown of base fares and taxes, little blue luggage icon right over here. When you click on it, you'll get a pop-up, which actually I'm not sure you could see now. Uh, let me just, if I do that, I believe now you could see the pop-up that just showed up. So you'll see it takes us straight to Air Transat's website for luggage information. So the reason we do that is just in case an airline partner changes anything in their baggage policy, we want to make sure that you know that doesn't slip through the cracks on our end. You provide your customer the wrong information and then find yourself with uh, a complaint after the fact. Um, now, when you click on both your outbound and your inbound flight, that's where you've got your uh, fare families that are sh that'll show up. I think I selected e uh, economy only on the first page. Apologies, which is why only the eco budget fare is showing up. Um, when you hover over it, you'll see what's included, what's available at a charge. What's not offered, in the case of multiple fare families, you'll see more buttons right here to the right of it, and that's where you'll uh, be able to compare one to the other. Once you've selected your flight, all you have to do is click on Book right over here, and it's going to take us to our confirmation page. So as I said, booking on agency is a three-page process. We're already done with page uh, two of three. Um, and long story short, 
when we're presenting our product to potential new agency partner, uh, as you've probably noted so far, it's our, our pitch is very simple. We try to make this the most user-friendly experience uh, available to travel agents. If you know how to book yourself a ticket on an OTA, you already know how to make yourself money booking someone else's ticket for them on Agencia. So when you get to the top of the third page, same concept as the top of the second page, we recap the information that was selected on the prior one. So here's where you have a recap once again of your outbound and your inbound flights, both separated by blue highlighting. Now I'm just clicking on this little button here that wouldn't be visible in an agent account. I'm just telling Agencia to fill out the form with fake passenger information for those five passengers I selected earlier. Then when you scroll a bit further down, it'll recap your fair family details. You then enter your PAX information. That's why I clicked autofill, so I don't make you all watch me do that. So once you, you've clicked, uh, once you've entered, excuse me, all your passenger information, that's when you're ready to head down to your price breakdown section right over here. So this is where things get interesting for you. This is where you could add your markup and we've added a couple of other tools that are gonna make your life easier um, as an agent in your day to day. So right now, if we go down here to the bottom in the agency payout section, we see that there's no markup or commission applicable to the ticket. Now, for those who didn't take note when I clicked on the banner and the pop-up showed up, um, bonus commissions are applied after the fact. So we reconcile commission on a bi-weekly basis with our travel agency partners. Um, agency is not set up to take kind of a percentage or a fixed amount and then add a drop net to it. So you'll see that in your bi-weekly report. So in this case here, although it says zero, you've got five passengers traveling to the US, you are indeed already eligible for $50. Now, right here to the left, Charges on the customer's credit card. Obviously, our transat accepts credit card as form of payment. So you see that's going on their merchant account. And then you could apply your markup as well, right up, right up here. So right here is where you'll see how much commission you stand to make. Obviously, net fares aren't commissionable, which is why you see a zero. You could enter your markup right over here, but if you wanna know how much you could mark your ticket up by, just hover over the little question mark right over here. You'll see two pieces of info. Number one, how much does the airline allows, allow you for allow you to mark up by? So that's why you're seeing the 356.25. Number two, what's the maximum agency is going to allow you to mark up by? So that might might look like a bit of an arbitrary number, 2850, but it's actually double the base fare. So let's say, for example, now you want to add the max allowable markup uh, that Transat will uh, allow on their merchant account. So let's say we put that. We'll just round it down to 350 uh, instead of 356.25. Once you put your 350 right over there, you'll note down here your agency payout. Whoops, let's go 350. Sorry about that. You'll see in the agency payout section, now it shows how much you stand to make with your markup. The amount applied to the airline partner's merchant account has updated accordingly. And your price per pack now includes that average markup of $70 each for your grand total of 350. So down here, you get your breakdown of price per packs with your grand total at the bottom. For your taxes and fees right over here, if you hover over the little question mark, you'll get a pop-up showing you what the breakdown is between all those, all those taxes. Now, as I said, we've added a few features to the tool to make your life easier as an agent. And the only way we've been able to do that is by asking for feedback, uh, feedback on webinars such as this one. So what I would ask of you, uh, over and above the time you've already dedicated to us is feedback not only not only on what you think of Agencia based on what I've presented to you today, but I would love to hear from you on what type of headache you're facing in your day-to-day -day as a travel agent that no one else has solved for you. Um, we love innovating. We love bringing new, new tools uh, to Agencia. And the next two that I'm going to show you were only brought to the platform because of feedback uh, from agents such as yourselves. So the, the first concern that we would hear often was that agents weren't crazy about having to um, kind of expose what their markup was. Let's say if they wanted to mark up a published fare, or as we all know, some carriers out there don't allow for markup on their net fares, whereas the vast majority allow you to mark up to 25%, at which point you have to use a separate merchant account. Now, obviously, Agencia will allow for that. So let's say, for example, you know, you, you offer white glove service to this customer. They know they're not calling some call center overseas. If there's any problems, they could call your cell phone at two in the morning. So at that point, you wanna mark it up by more, let's say an incremental markup of $200 more per box, right? So we'll take that 350 and mark it up to 1350. Now we're never gonna give you the third degree over the markup. If you're using 
a separate system to book hotels and you just want to use Agencia to provide one global invoice and that's why you're marking up this portion of, of your booking, that's completely your prerogative. But now let's say you do want to add that $1,000 markup. What Agencia will allow for and what every consolidator on the market such as us will allow for is for you to mark up uh, on their merchant account. Now we have a service fee that applies to anything that's put onto our merchant account to offset the cost incurred by by using it with the bank uh, but that gets passed on to the customer which is why you don't see a flat one thousand uh, dollar markup right over here now the issue with doing this be it with agencia or any other consolidator is that you are going to you know once you presented a quote-unquote package price you are going to have the customer see two transactions on their credit card at this point based on agent feedback that i've received post webinar uh, I've actually heard that agents sometimes refuse to mark up their fare by as much as they think they could simply to avoid the third degree on what the separate charge is, how much went directly in their pocket, how much a hotel upgrade was, and, and so on. So in order to help you avoid that altogether, we allow you to push the entirety of the transaction onto our merchant account. So how do you do that? You'll note here in pricing strategy, lowest price is always selected by default. Here, I'll just actually zoom out a bit so everyone could see. There we go. So I don't have to keep scrolling up and down. So what we mean by that is if you're adding this $1,350 markup right over here, the lowest price you could charge is $3,602, but you're going to have those two separate uh, transactions. Now, if you select single charge, and the price is probably going to go up by about uh, $75 or so, dollars. let's see, $3,602 goes up to $3,684, so a bit over $80, $82. Now, the reason for that is you'll note that the entirety of the transaction got pushed onto our merchant account. So in this case here, that 3% doesn't only apply to the incremental markup, but rather the entirety of the fare. So for anyone thinking, well, hey, Jimmy, now the price just went up by $80, what am I supposed to do with that? In that case, you could always just take it out of the markup, let's say, if the customer is super price sensitive. And once again, I just, oops, uh, no, it was twelve seventy. sorry about that. So at this point, once you put the 1270, oh, 1270 is actually allowed by the airline partner, which is why it won't show up. But in any, in any case, you could take it out of your markup or you could just, you know, kind of just justify the cost uh, to your customer. And then you'll only have one transaction. So let's say I go back to that 1550 markup right over here on single charge. Now, for example, uh, the entirety of the transactions are on our merchant account. So instead of, for example, getting the third degree over what's this charge, what's that charge, the worst case scenario here is someone might call you saying, hey, you work at ABC Travel, I booked a transat ticket with you, who's Agencia Global? Why am I seeing them on my credit card statement? And that's as easy as just explaining that, you know, we're, we're your wholesaler, we issue tickets for you, and everything's on the up and up. Now, the reason I selected five passengers on the first page is because of another uh, comment that I was getting often enough was that agents were tired of having to book multiple PNRs for people who are traveling together simply because each one wanted to use their own credit card. So we brought a solution to the table for that as well. So once you scroll down to the payment section right over here, a single payment is selected by default. If one person's paying for everyone, great. Enter their credit card info right over here, scroll down, agree to the terms and conditions, click book and pay, and you're done. Let's say they each do want to use their respective credit card. That's where you would click on multiple payment. You'll notice there's a drop down menu here that allows for as many credit cards to be used as there are customers. And then when you scroll down to the payment section, you see it won't let me modify the info as it did before because I need to assign customers to their credit cards. So how do we do that? We've got five customers right up here, five credit, credit card slots right over here. Very user friendly drag and drop system, grab each one drag them to their respective cards. And then once you get down here, you've got five tabs where you can put everyone's info. So for example, Barbara's here on card one. We click on card two. We'll put Randall right over there. Card three would be Leo and so on. So now you could see as I'm flipping through the cards, the names are changing. So you enter everybody's credit card information on their respective tab. And then when it's all said and done, You've marked up your ticket by $1,500 when the airline only allowed for $300 on their merchant account, yet the entirety of the transaction is one line item on your customer's credit card. Each customer could uh, has used their respective card, and yet, after what we just came through with the pandemic, we're no strangers to it. In the case of a major schedule change, for example, any voluntary, involuntary change, you name it, 
there's one PNR to play around with here rather than five. So please take advantage of this. Um, the feedback on it so far has been fantastic. And again, I'm not just looking for feedback on what I've shown you today, but I mean it when I say if you are facing any issues as a travel agent in your day-to-day -day, that others are just not open to innovating to solve for you, please reach out to us and let us know. Um, on that note, once you've entered your credit, uh, your credit card info, you click on book and pay, it'll bring you to a confirmation page uh, on which you'll get a nine-digit Agencia Global confirmation number. So if you have any questions, you can contact us. I'm just clicking on the link right here so you could see our contact information. You can reach us by phone, by email, or you could even fill out the form right over here. Here's our contact info as well as hours of operation. For those who are asking about 24-7 service, that was the case pre-pandemic. Uh, we may go back to that eventually, but for the time being, these are our, our, our hours of operation. So the confirmation page will give you that nine-digit Agencia Global confirmation number. It'll allow you to print or email your itinerary as well as the invoice, both of which would have your agency info pre-populated at the top. And then you'll receive your tickets by email within one to two hours. We are working on auto ticketing. We're not just there yet, but it's in the pipeline. Now, if you like what you saw and you'd like to become a partner of ours, uh, please do. So I'm just going to log out here to show you how to register. So when you go to www.agenciaglobal.com, you'll get to our landing page, which is this right over here. A register button will pop up. There you go. Click on that right over there. And we're just going to ask you for some basic info, uh, company name, address, uh, the name and email of a master contact, as well as some form of accreditation, one of these from the drop-down menu. Once you fill out your form, here you go. It's a very short form. Once you fill out your form, confirm you're not a robot, Click on register, we'll receive the request. We're just gonna do our due diligence, make sure everything's on the up and up with the IATA or ARC number, for example, that you've provided, at which point we'll approve your application and you'll have access to basically everything I just showed you. Um, in the case of time of ticketing incentives, it's our policy that we share 100% of upfront commission and that we do not mark up our net fares. So any net fares, for example, that Air Transat's gonna file for us for destination Europe, for example. Um, you know, if we've got a net fare of 800 versus a published fare of 1,000, you'll have that net fare there at $800. So no markup on our end, no commission sharing. There's no registration fees, there's no monthly fees. Um, the only fee that you're gonna pay with us, uh, which you could actually pass on to your customer, is once the void period has expired, there is a $40 fee for voluntary uh, changes. Aside from that, Agencia is completely free to use. You don't need any GDS knowledge because uh, we handle all post booking for you. And last but not least, we love to pound the pavement to make sure that we line your pockets as best as possible. So this bonus commission program that we have with Air Transat right now, we run programs like that uh, virtually all year long. Let's say easily 80% of the time, depending um, on the airline partner, like we won't have too many simultaneously because we, want, we don't want to kind of dilute attention from one airline partner or two airline partners when they're both looking to promote. So it's generally one airline partner at a time. Uh, so right now we're highlighting Air Transat, but anytime you log in, chances are you'll see a banner up here uh, on which you could click and get some bonus commission information. This too, actually, we're very open to feedback. So, you know, if you're tuning in for this presentation and I don't know, I'll, I'll just get a little uh, hyperbolic here. 97% of your bookings are to Ireland and you're looking for a strategic partner who could really negotiate solid content for you to Dublin, then please feel free to reach out and we'll find that perfect match for you. Um, on that note, thanks again everyone for attending and uh, Zephan, I shall pass it right back over to you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Uh, lots of great stuff for for agents on the call. So thanks so much, everyone, for being here and sticking with us uh, to the end. Great presentation, Jimmy and uh, Benoit as well. Great presentation. So um, I am going to go ahead and open up the Q&A. So it looks like we've got a couple of questions here for everyone. So thanks for joining in and thanks for your questions, folks. Um, let me just pull up a slide here so we have something to look at. And um, yeah, so we do have a couple of questions here, folks. We don't have too much time, so let me just jump right into yeah. them. But 
Um, first question, what happens when you sell two fares, club class, half standard and flex? What is the penalty on the cancellation, please? Benoit, I think that's directed towards you. Uh, yes, and normally in that case, it's the most uh, restrictive fare rule that will apply in this kind of, uh, in this case, yes. Okay, great. Um, and another one for Benoit, I did not see Chad Burnett on the contacts list. Is he still there? He's still there, but he's working for Transat, the tour operator, and he's based in Ontario. So that's why he was not uh, present today. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. And um, okay, next question. Are the baggage allowances the same if you're booked with Air Transat and Air Transat vacations? Um, the baggage policy is uh, different depending the, f the, the, the fair family, the fair type booked. So it will, it might uh, be different from uh, Air Transat vacation because it's at the tour operator side. So the rules are different most of the time, yes. Okay, great. All right, I think this one's for Jimmy. Um, I currently use Surev for my bookings. How do I get on Agencia? Yes, uh, so you know what, I, I could share my screen again just to demo that, but hopefully I answered that question near the end of my presentation. Here we go, let's share. Okay, so hopefully you could see my screen again. So yes. I'm just gonna log out right here. So when you go to www.agenciaglobal.com, just wait for this little register button to pop up. Click on it right over here, fill out the form, that short form that I went through just a couple minutes ago, and we'll receive that request. And you, you would definitely hear back within one to two business hours. And then you're off to the races. Okay, great. Sounds good. So hopefully we answer, answered all of your questions. Um, folks, I don't think we have any more at this point. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get to the uh, prize announcement. So Benoit, when you're ready. Yeah, I think we have a winner. And the winner is Neil Miller. So I don't know if it's the here. I hope yes. He is. Neil, we will offer you a MasterCard gift card of $250 value. Uh, so yeah, Zephan will provide me with your contacts and I will send out the, uh, the gift card, basically. So congratulations to you, Neil. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And uh, Neil, thanks so much for being here. Uh, congratulations. Yes, um, Be uh, Benoit will be in touch with you to arrange the, the prize details. So, And thank you everyone for joining in. We are at the top of the hour, so why don't we go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, thank you again, folks, for joining in and uh, for your great questions and um, all the interaction in the chat as well. We love hearing from you and uh, we love to bring you helpful content. So um, be sure to connect for more webinars as they come through here. Um, huge thank you to Benoit and Jimmy for this presentation. Right after the webinar, you will be sent to a Air Transat website where you can access more information from them. And we will be sending the webinar recording link from today to each of you within about 24 hours once it has been processed. And uh, all of our past webinar recordings from Baxter Media can be found on our Baxter Media YouTube channel or at travelpress.com under the travel webcast tab. So you can find any of our past recordings there and uh, it's a lot of helpful content up there. So a reminder to subscribe to all of Baxter Media's publications for your industry news. You can subscribe at travelpress.com by clicking the link pinned to the top of your chat there in blue. And uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. So thank you again, Benoit, and thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Zephan. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you everyone for your attention. And we hope to see you on board our aircraft. Great. Thanks, Benoit. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yes. Have a great rest of your day. Talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.